so we've got three expressions here, and in each of them they've mixed up the positive and negative values and the operations. So we can walk through these with the order of operations. For part A, we want to deal with the parentheses first in each case. Notice there are parentheses around these negative numbers. However, there's nothing really to do inside of them. I think they're just putting those parentheses there to help us um, not confuse the negative signs with the multiplication or division signs. It's just to help you see that the this is a negative 2 and this is a negative 1. So we simplify 5 minus 3 and that's 2. I'm going to rewrite this as 2 divided by negative 2 times negative 1. When you're dealing with the order of operations, which is basically always for the sake of our study here, you're going from left to right when you have two inverse operations. Right? If you think about the order of operations, um, parentheses come first, then division and multiplication really are on the same level, they're inverses. So when they're the only two operations left, you go from left to right. And then addition and subtraction, right? Same rule being applied. Um, oops, but I'm sorry. Before division and multiplication, I should have put this up here. But after parentheses, but before division and multiplication, become square roots and, and exponents. And again, the same rule applies for those two. If only roots and exponents are left. You go from left to right. So there's actually no, no bottom level here. Okay, so anyway, 2 divided by negative 2, that's negative 1. Rewrite times negative 1. And that's positive 1. So our first answer is positive 1. Here, there's nothing to do in parentheses or with the roots or exponents. But there is multiplication and division, so that takes precedence. 4 times 2 times negative 3. Well, 4 times 2 is 8. Times negative 3 is negative 24. Plus, well, negative 10 divided by 5 is going to come before we add. Right, Division comes first, and division is bridging these two numbers. So we have negative 24 plus negative 2. That's negative 10 divided by 5. Add those two up, we get negative 26. And last here, the parentheses comes first. 4 minus 20, negative 16. There's nothing to do with these parentheses. We'll leave that alone, but there are exponents. 2 to the second means 2 times 2, which is 4. So negative 16 divided by 4 minus 5 times negative 2. This is going to come next, right? And I'm going to think of this as negative 5 times negative 2. And that's going to be positive 10. Rewrite this, negative 16 divided by 4 plus 10. This is next. Negative 16 divided by 4 is negative 4 plus 10. Altogether, it's positive 6. All right, hope that helped.